What's up guys? Today I'm going to be doing a review of this Thrasher House Evo 12 ball on hook style speed bag swivel. So stay tuned. All right guys, so today we're gonna to do a review on the Thrasher House Evo 12 ball hook style speed bag swivel. Got it from the Thrasher House and they just wrote a little note on the box here. That's pretty cool. So it's Carlo, happy holidays. Welcome to the Thrasher House family. We hope you have a blast with your Evo 12 number 30. I'm, I'm assuming that's number 30 of the production run. Bang on brother and has the date and their signature there. Um, I decided to go with this blue color, which is kind of like an aqua blue. The base of this swivel is made of like a really hard polymer style plastic with pre-drilled holes. And then you can see the actual ball sits on the inside of that and then comes through with the hook on the other end. This is my name on there, Evo 12, number 30, 11, 27, 30, uh, 20, which I'm assuming is the, the date it was manufactured. So it has that ball with a little hook on there and then it comes with a carabiner uh, like attaches basically this connects the actual speed bag to this hook uh, then it also came with uh, four of these wood screws and some instruction plastic resin housing with plastic core ball and metal eye hook also include our four screws for mounting swivel and two is carabiner for attaching a ball to swivel screw hole spacing is five centimeters so install instructions care instructions and lastly, it came with this uh, Thrasher House sticker. So pretty straightforward. So let's go ahead and throw this on the uh, speed bag platform and see how this thing performs. Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'm gonna to be doing a review on this Thrasher House Evo 12 ball and hook style speed bag swivel. Um, this is the very first of the kind of a ball and hook style speed bag swivel that I've used. Um, typically I've always used the standardized uh, ball bearing style, style swivel that you see uh, most people use. It uses uh, the standard platform that actually connects to the speed bag platform and then it uses a, a ball bearing in the top uh, for the vertical spin and then you also have the horizontal ball bearing that actually controls the swinging piece down here and then has a cotter pin with a pin that goes through this connects to the actual speed bag strap. So that's what I'm, I'm used to using. Um, I was really interest, interested in this Thrasher House swivel. Um, this was actually uh, made and the company is uh, owned by Jeff Thrasher, hence the name uh, Thrasher House. He's based out of South Texas, so it's a product that's made here uh, in the United States. Um, they offer all kinds of different colors to choose from. I got this, I think this one's called Cobalt, maybe, I can't, if I can't remember, Cobalt Blue, but they have black, silver, red, pink, uh, maroon. There's all different types of color schemes. I, I believe they also do speed bag drums um, and some other merch, like some shirts and other uh, other gear that you can check out. Um, and obviously I'll put the link in the description box that way you can check out their website and um, see what they offer. But this particular swivel is uh, $60, so it's a, a fairly good price as far as a speed bag swivel goes. Um, and again, it just uses four wood screws that mounts to the platform, which I just screwed in really easy. The actual uh, distance between um, each screw was the same as my old swivel that I have here. So I didn't actually have to re-drill any holes and I just used the provided wood screws that it came with. So you can see that the ball is, is really nice in the fact that it has uh, really 360 degrees of, of, of spinning and is really maneuverable. And then next I have the carabiner that it comes with and I just have my, my title uh, super speed bag. We'll try this with. So you basically just connect that to the carabiner and then from here the carabiner connects to the hook uh, the ball hook so slide that in there obviously the smaller narrow section will stay up top and the larger uh, section is going to connect to the strap now it's a little bit longer one thing i did notice is that the distance between the base of the swivel and to the actual strap compared to the old swivel I'd say you can see right there it's a little bit longer of a, of a throw by that I mean it drops the bag down a little bit further down so definitely something you want to keep in mind if you do get this this uh, speed bag swivel 
uh, based on just the diameter of the bag. So if it's, if it's too long, you're either gonna have to reduce the size of this carabiner or um, get a smaller speed bag that is not as long as this one. So, or if you just have a really large platform, then you're good to go. You have nothing to worry about. But thankfully, my platform accommodates the radius of this swivel. Um, so that's really good. So there you have it. Let's go ahead and start hitting this thing and see how this thing performs. Has a nice smooth feel to it. Awesome, nice and smooth action. Um, one thing I definitely like about it is that sometimes with the standard swivels, if you hit it, so say the bag is hooked on here and it's kind of rotating around and you're, you're hitting it. Sometimes if you hit it straight on with the horizontal um, bearing, it might get kind of like cocked out of place when you hit it. So it'll kind of swing sideways a little bit because you might catch the bearing at a, at a wrong angle. With this, the nice thing about it is that it's basically a ball. So you have basically just full rotation. The only thing I would say I would change with this, and this is just my personal preference, is I might get, hopefully they make a smaller carabiner um, because it's a little bit longer. So you essentially have to hit it, I wouldn't say harder, necessarily harder, but it doesn't have the same speed uh, that I did have with my standard one. So there's a couple of variables with that. It's gonna be the distance uh, of, or the size of this carabiner, the size of the bag, um, that makes a difference as far as the speed goes when you're hitting it. So, I mean, it runs really nice. It's really smooth, um, but I'll probably get a little bit of a shorter carabiner and then uh, see how it performs then. But overall, I mean, I really love it. It's really nice and smooth. Uh, one thing I did notice is when I saw this on Instagram, that's uh, where I discovered Thrasher House, is that the, uh, I think his name is Zach Rufo. He's been, he's known as a speed bag skunk. And he's probably one of the best, if not the best, speed bag uh, person that does tricks and just uses the speed bag. I mean, he's cr it's crazy the trick the tricks he does on the speed bag. Obviously, he has he's been doing it for years, um, but he endorses them, and I know he uses their their speed bag swivel as well. So you can check out their Instagram page, and you can see his page as well, uh, where it shows them him using this the swivel. And, I mean, he's he's doing some pretty amazing tricks on there, and he's really fast. So. Um, but overall, man, really, really like this. The build on it is really high quality. I love that it comes with the screws. Everything is provided. You don't have to pay anything extra um, for any other accessories. It has nice, some nice personalization to it where he writes, writes your name on there and kind of etches it on the base of the swivel. Um, and just really nice high quality product. It's really good and attaches to my speed bag with no problem. So uh, $60 for this swivel and um, definitely performs uh, exactly as, as advertised. So. If you guys have any questions or comments, as usual, make sure you guys leave them down below. I'll put the link in the description box where you can find this swivel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.